Watch this video for a step-by-step -step view of how to create custom conversions using the events setup tool inside Facebook Business Manager. Hey everyone, after you place the universal pixel from Facebook, you can track things like button clicks, URL loads, site visits, etc. so you can track conversions and deploy remarketing campaigns. All right, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to business.facebook.com. You can see in the URL bar, navigate to the hamburger menu, click on either business settings and find a way to get to events manager. You'll get to a page that looks like this. You're going to identify the pixel you wanna choose and then click on the pixel. And you're gonna to wanna to get to the event and setup tool and let's click on the event setup tool. It's gonna to load a dialog box and that's where you're gonna type in the URL where you already have your pixel code placed. All right, so I uh, typed in the URL brillmedia.co, which is where our pixel is already placed. And what you can see is you'll have this event setup tool delivered from Facebook. Now, a few things to note, again, to underscore this can only work once your universal pixel already exists on the page, and you're gonna wanna click on a page where you're tracking a conversion. Particularly challenging is the ability to track button clicks. So it takes a different type of coding. So what you're wa gonna wanna do is the following. All right, so a few things to note. If you wanna track the URL, you can do that. And so you can click on track a URL. This has already been tracked, so you're gonna, I'm gonna get this message, but whenever the URL equals this, you can say that it equals to a, a view content conversion if that's relevant for you. But much more useful is going to be the following. Track a new button, you identify your button, you click on this and you tell it what type of button you want what type of action this represents. And the key thing to note is that a lot of page builders, landing page will automatically, once this submits, it will not load a new URL. What it will do is just load a screen that pops up on the same page saying, thank you, we received your submission. And that way it's very challenging to track a conversion because you don't have a URL to track to. So what this does is will fire the lead conversion event every time the button is clicked. So you click on this, no value, click on confirm, I'm not gonna click on confirm because I don't wanna trigger this. So once that's done, what you're gonna wanna do is go back to your events manager. Click on this URL or disconnect it. And then you are gonna wanna test the event. And so on this screen, you're gonna click on test events. You're gonna go back to the URL, see if the lead button loads after re-click on the submit button. And as a result, you will get confirmation that your events are now set up. My name's Robert. I'm your friend in paid media, chief executive officer of brillmedia.co. If you need help with paid media, driving leads or sales, need help with analytics or pixel placement, reach out to us. We're a white label media buying for agencies and we help agencies and advertisers supercharge their paid media buying. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.